Well, it's moving day and it's kind of sad seeing everything come out of our house, you know. Um, and it's been a real challenge for our removalists because we live on such a busy road. So, but you know, they've worked around it and we've got Sarah and Matt Matthew helping us today, so that's really good. Look exhausted, that's because I am. But just saying goodbye to my little garden. But wait till you see the garden that we're going to. I think it's really good and we're going to be really happy. Are you having fun? <laughs> I'm in a world of pain. This is it, all locked up. really sorry that we're late getting a video out to you this week it's Saturday morning it's like 13 degrees it got to six degrees last night and we're we're taping from our new home just to give you a quick quick rundown about our move have a look at this first though these are flowers we picked a few days ago they're from our garden aren't they beautiful this is Australian wattle Australian wattle tree kind of getting to the end of it now but and have a look at this this is a view outside our kitchen window. Isn't that beautiful? You can see the garden down there, it's full of Australian native trees. So we get so many Australian native birds, which is just beautiful. Let's go outside and I'll show you around. Isn't it beautiful? It's actually so quiet. In the distance, we have a chook pen. You can't see it from here, but there's also a vegetable garden. What do you think? It's pretty nice, isn't it? We're so happy. We moved up this week. We've been so busy unpacking, as you can imagine. Everything arrived up here from Brisbane safely. It was a massive job, much bigger than we, than we remembered from the last time we moved. So glad that's over. We've met our neighbours on both sides. They've made themselves um, known to us and they're really friendly. So we're so happy to have lovely neighbours on both sides. But aren't the gardens beautiful? You can see why we moved up here because We've said it so many times before, we love nature and love being surrounded by nature and going for walks, so we're really looking forward to that. When we came here, we were delighted. The house is better. I'm not going to give you a tour today. We will give you a tour maybe one day down the track, but there are boxes and stuff everywhere, so we're not going to do it today because it's a bit of a mess and we're not organised yet. And um, But a good thing about the house is we have uh, two 25,000 litre tanks which will more than keep us in supply for drinking water. And we also have a grey water system so that the water from our, you know, from our dishes and our laundry and everything, that will uh, go onto the garden and it's irrigated to do that already. There's also another separate tank, tank with um, fresh water that, as well that goes onto the vegetable garden, so that's going to be great. There's more solar panels than what we had in Brisbane 
and to capture all the solar power and we've been told by our neighbours that the previous owners never paid an electricity bill and never had to pay a water bill. They never had to have water tanked in either and they lived here for 15 years. So that's pretty amazing, isn't it? We're really happy about that. We love the idea of caring for the environment and to live a more sustainable lifestyle. And we're looking forward to getting our own chickens and having our own eggs. We've had chooks before, so, so that'll be great. And also getting our vegetable garden up and going. We found a couple of fruit trees up the back too that we didn't realise we had a couple of orange trees, so that was really nice as well. So everybody has been very friendly and very welcoming and it's just lovely living out here. Um, you know, so far, I, I think that we're really gonna love it. What do you think? <laughs> Yeah, Paul thinks so too. So really sorry, very quick one this week, uh, just showing you a little bit about the move and a bit about, uh, you know, waking up and, and hearing the bird life in our garden first thing in the morning. So uh, we hope you enjoy that. And we will get, get out and about this week and we'll show a bit around this area and we'll see you then. Until then, take care. And we're thinking of all those people that are currently in lockdown uh, in Australia and overseas and... We hope things improve soon. Okay, bye. So I have to say, I was a bit worried about the car for our move. I was kind of wondering whether the Tesla would be that suitable for moving and filling up with stuff. But look at this, it was fantastic and I'll show you why. As you can see, it has a really, really large boot. Huge. But underneath here it has more storage space so we've got uh, spare charging cables and we actually bought this online from a company to protect the to protect the inside what we did we actually just folded down the seats and we were able to put so much stuff in our car. It was fantastic. So you can do it on both sides. Can you see? Look how much space. You know you're living in the country when you're taking straw out of the back seat of the car, I tell you. But isn't that fantastic? So much room, but there's more. Using my app. Ah. Because the Tesla doesn't have a conventional engine, there's all this storage space in the front. And they call this a frunk, which is kind of funny because they call the back part a trunk. But in Australia, of course, we would call it a boot. And this one would say it's under the hood. But there's this extra um, storage space here. And I, we actually fit, were able to fit a small suitcase in here full of clothes. So that was fantastic for our move too. And because we didn't give you a Tesla tip last time and one of our viewers noted that and he was disappointed. We're going to give you two this time. So watch, the, watch what else it does. I'll show you something else. It's currently charging just on our home power point. Nothing special. So we're just getting it through the sun, through solar power, costing us nothing at all. It does about, I think it does about, is it two kilowatts an hour or something? Yeah, and it's 46%, but that's fine. We're not going anywhere, so that's okay. But I'll show you what else it does. I can ask it to play any song I want. This is fantastic, don't you reckon? I wish you were, could talk back to me and you could give me a song, but let's see, I'll think of one. Um, play Sarah by Fleetwood Mac. Isn't that the best? Play Beethoven. Anyway, you get the picture. It's pretty good, isn't it? So there's your second Tesla tip. And I hope you enjoyed that, even if you're not really into Teslas or cars. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it, it's now Sunday. We started doing this video on Saturday, fully intended to get it out to you on Saturday, but we've gone under lockdown in all of Southeast Queensland because there are a number of cases and the cases are escalating. So we're not sure if the lockdown will lift it Tuesday at 4 p.m. as they're saying it may. We're just not sure. It's not looking that good, but we'll keep our fingers crossed. But if we are able to, we'll go for 
a drive this week and we'll take you somewhere special and if we aren't able to then we'll try and put a video together from our property and see how we go but until then we'll um see you on our next video take care bye